Welcome to my podcast. Today I'll be previewing the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Philadelphia Flyers for the upcoming NHL season. I'll also be talking about disappointing and surprising teams in the NFL. 2018-2019 season preview featuring the Pittsburgh Penguins. Despite losing in the second round of the playoffs last season, the Pittsburgh Penguins are still up there in the Eastern Conference. The Pittsburgh Penguins still have their key core players. However, they have made some key changes. A major weakness of the Penguins last season was defense. In order to clear cap space to sign Jack Johnson, the Penguins had to trade Connor Sheary and Matt Hunwick to the Sabres. The Penguins re-signed Brian Russ, Zach Aston Reese, and brought back Matt Cullen. However, in bringing back Matt Cullen, the Penguins now have a log jam of centers, so I expect Riley Strahan to be either traded or moved to the wing. Heading into the 2018-2019 season, the Penguins are focused on being champs once again. The Penguins currently have the best dynamic duo in the NHL with Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin. Having those two on the team basically gives them two dynamic offensive lines. Having Derek Broussard as their third line center makes them deadly. The Penguins are really hard to game plan against because of the amount of game breakers on their team. The Penguins do have a new player in their lineup in Daniel Sprong. He should add speed and skill. Defensively, Chris Letang is still the Penguins' most important defensive player. He needs to stay healthy if Pittsburgh wants to win. Jack Johnson adds to their defensive depth. He's a veteran puck-moving defenseman who will fit in well with Pittsburgh. Matt Murray had a down year last year. I really expect him to have a bounce-back year. The Pittsburgh Penguins are still one of the best teams in the NHL, which means you can expect them to be contenders once again this season. This is how the lineup looks like right now. The first line is Jake Gunsel, Sidney Crosby, and Patrick Hornquist. The second line is Carl Hagelin, Evgeny Malkin, and Phil Kessel. The third line is Dominic Simone, Derek Broussard, and Daniel Sprong. Fourth line is Zach Aston Reese, Riley Shahan, and Brian Russ. First deep pair is Brian Dumala and Chris Latang. Second deep pair is Oli Mata and Justin Schultz. Third deep pair is Jack Johnson and Jamie Alexia. Goaltenders are Matt Murray and Casey Dismith. 2018-2019 season preview featuring the Philadelphia Flyers. The Philadelphia Flyers lost in the first round of the playoffs last season. A huge reason for the loss was a combination of poor goaltending and a lack of scoring depth. To resolve these issues, the Flyers signed James Van Riemsdyk in free agency. JVR completes the Flyers' top six and gives them two dynamic offensive lines. The Flyers also added Oscar Lindblom and Nicholas Abe Kubel in the lineup. They are too good to tank, yet they are not good enough to contend yet. The Flyers have a great core of forwards, which is built around Captain Claude Giroux. Besides Giroux, the Flyers also have other highly skilled forwards like Jacob Borchek, Wayne Simmons, and Sean Couturier. The key forward for the Flyers this year is Nolan Patrick. He is heading into his second season. Based off his performance in the second half of last season, he should be poised for a breakout year. Defensively, the Flyers' defense is built around Ivan Provorov and Shane Goss' spare. Ivan Provorov is a great all-around defenseman and has become the Flyers' best defenseman. Shane Gossespierre is the Flyers' best offensive defenseman. He is a huge part of the Flyers' power play. In order for the Flyers to take the next step, they need Robert Hag and Travis Sanheim to step up. The biggest issue for the Flyers the last decade has been goaltending. As of right now, the Flyers haven't solved that issue as they have the same two goalies as they did from last season. With the talent the Flyers have, it is possible they could make the playoffs as a wild card. However, if they want to make it further in the playoffs, they need a better goalie. This is how the lineup looks like right now. The first line is Claude Giroux, Sean Couturier, and Travis Konechny. The second line is JVR, Nolan Patrick, and Jacob Borchek. Third line, Oscar Lindblom, Jordan Wheel, Wayne Simmons. Fourth line, Michael Raffle, Scott Lawson, Nick Abe Kubel. First D pair is Ivan Provov and Andy McDonald. Second D pair is Robert Hag and Shane Gossespierre. Third D pair, Travis Sanheim, Radko Gudis. Goaltenders, Brian Elliott, Michael Novair. On the next 2018-2019 season preview, I preview the Ottawa Senators. Surprising and disappointing teams in the NFL. Surprising teams. San Francisco 49ers. The San Francisco 49ers seem to have found their new franchise quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo. The 49ers added Richard Sherman. He should definitely help improve their defense. The 49ers also added dynamic running back Jarek McKinnon and receiver Ruben Foster. The 49ers have a chance to make the playoffs as a wild card. New York Giants. Offensively, the New York Giants are so much improved from last season. They added Saquon Barkley and they are getting Odell Beckham Jr. back, which should make their offense much more dynamic. Defensively, they are a totally revamp defense with the addition of some key offseason acquisitions. The Giants should have a good enough team to make a run for the playoffs. Denver Broncos. The biggest question mark heading to the offseason for the Broncos was quarterback. The issue was solved temporarily with the signing of Case Keenum who was a starter in the NFL. Defensively, they got downright scary with the addition of Bradley Chubb. A pass rushing tandem of Bradley Chubb and Von Miller 
is a nightmare for other teams to contain. The Broncos defense is good enough to carry the Broncos into the playoffs. Disappointing teams. Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs still have a solid group of players on both sides of the ball. However, the Chiefs have one major weakness, the quarterback position. Patrick Mahomes may eventually turn into a good quarterback, but he hasn't played a single NFL regular season game. The Chiefs aren't likely to make the playoffs in the competitive AFC. Jacksonville Jaguars. The AFC may be the most competitive division in the AFC now. While the Jaguars have an excellent defense, there is one major thing holding them back. The Jaguars have the worst starting quarterback in that division. Dallas Cowboys. The Des Bryant error is over in Dallas, which means the Dallas Cowboys don't have a number one receiver really. The Cowboys do still have Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and a great offensive line. However, the Cowboys don't have a go-to receiver anymore, which will really hurt the offense this season. It will be tough for the Cowboys to make the playoffs, especially with other teams in the division getting better. In my next podcast, I'll be talking about bounce back players in the NFL.